Hi guys, in this video we will be installing CloudWatch for our Windows server in my previous video which I made a month ago. I installed it for Linux. Now let's see how it is done for this Windows server. As you can see, the platform is Windows. Uh, now let's uh, go ahead and uh, check the notes which I prepared. So these are the notes as I do in every video. So let's see first the policies required. Just copy them all. Go to IAM. We'll create a role with all the four policy and attach to our instance. Create role. Use case will be C2. Now just paste all the policies over it. Enter. It is not touching. I guess we have to do it one by one. I guess. Just see one second. No. We have to do it one by one. Okay, so as you can check, I have attached all the four policies. Uh, let's give it a name. Just a random name and create a role. Yes, our role is created. Now let's attach to our instance. Go to actions, action, modify IAM role, refresh once, and select the role which we just created. Here it is. See. Now, when I attach this rule, uh, by default the SSM will be installed on the Windows server. I have uh, showed you in my previous video how to do it. So, I will just uh, skip this part. So, as you can check now, if we hit on connect, we are able to SSH into our instance. So this is the first mandate step that is required. And as SSM is installed on our server now, we can go ahead. So now the next step is uh, we need to go to SSM and then run command and just run a command over there. I will show it how. Here is our systems manager. I have to install a package over there. Here is the run command package name copy it go to run command paste the package name select it version will be latest your name is required uh, here you have to enter this one Amazon CloudWatch agent and the version will be latest in uh, small cases to choose the instance let's go here and uh, copy the instance ID so this is our instance now this will be as default it is now let's run it's in progress so as you can check it is uh, successful now we have to SSH into our instance click on connect let's go let's take our note by notepad side by side so it will be easy for us yes. okay okay now we need to change directory into uh, this particular path so we'll enter cd and c colon p r o and just hit tab over here then it will automatically detect hit enter do ls now you can see next is program files and we need to go to amazon so hit cd c colon Amazon and hit tab it will automatically detect again do ls again do cd 
see golden next thing is uh, amazon cloud watch agent so amazon hit tab will automatically detect so now we are in so hit ls once again so now this amazon cloud watch agent configure wizard this executable file we need to execute so for this we will enter the same thing amazon and hit tab now this will automatically detect but this is not the one so we will just hit backspace and yeah this is the one which we need and hit enter okay so now these are the options it will ask us so all the option that you need to choose i have mentioned over here so you can go through it so first is to ec2 then start statement we don't want your watch log we don't want then one then two then one 60 seconds basic yes we are satisfied log filters we don't want no we don't want to monitor SSM parameter we want yes default 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 and yes the program exists now so we can close this notepad now after this uh, we again want to go on our systems manager and there we need to again run a package so let's let me open my notepad so here it is so now the fourth step or i mean the third step the console one system manager run command so this is the package that we need to install select the package the version will be latest now here in optional configuration location you have to enter this amazon cloudwatch windows i will show you where it is from so here you will enter this so when you go to parameters to yeah so this is the package which we installed previously so this is the same thing which we need to copy and paste it over there so i have already mentioned it in the notepad so it will be easy for you guys this will be the same now here we will choose the instance let's copy the instance id everything remains the same hit run so this is the last step afterwards we will go in cloudwatch and check for the custom name species whether they, they are installed or not let's refresh once yes it is successful now let's go to cloudwatch and check go to matrix all matrix here we'll enter the instance id it is not uh, visible yet but it will be in a few moments uh, so let's wait for it so as you can check now it's been uh, three to four minutes and when i paste the instance id the custom name spaces are available over here i will just do it once again and show you guys uh, this is the instance id i just copied it here I will enter and the name species are present. So this is how you can install CloudWatch agent in your Windows server. Thank you.